antique glass and collectibles. This looks has good things. Are you a Christian or a gambler? Huh. But I like it when there's actual cast iron just sitting out in the front here, so let's take a look. What have we got? Taiwan. That's a good puppy Taiwan too. Lodge. Lodge. Chicken fryer. Modern. 25. That's kind of a neat pot, neat old pot. That might be worth something. Hmm. Alright, so in an interesting turn of events, instead of taking the interstate up north, we're cruising along Highway 71, 61, well I think we're on 71 now, or 84, <coughs> north of Natchitoches, <coughs> really just going through the middle of nowhere, and so far it's been pretty interesting, I just pulled over at the side of a little kind of auction place, and found that interesting little, I don't know what you would call it, I might call it a bean pot or something like that, but it was 25, what the price was, I offered the guy 15, he said he would take 20. So I got it for $20, and I think that's probably a really nice piece. I didn't see a gate mark on it, but I know those round bottom pots are becoming really popular now. So I think that's one worth uh, picking up. So, so far so good not too bad a deal you know not, no amazing you know super barn finds of high-end stuff but I'm not really expecting that but it's a nice day to be cruising through the middle of nowhere as long as we don't end up in a set of a uh, deliverance we'll probably be okay just regular stuff all right a little resale shop in the middle of nowhere let's take a look Those are cool. Cast iron numbers. Oh yeah. I'm totally getting that. Ten dollars. Totally. I just about missed this, so I'm gonna make another quick little pass through here. In case I miss anything. You never know when these little things are just hiding in the corners. Maybe even gate mark that says W again. I've heard something about it. They want 40 for it. It's number eight. 
fair price, but I there's no meat on the bone if I clean it and try to resell it, unless I could get it cheaper. So I don't know. Do I make an offer on it? See, another one right in front of me and I missed it. 15. It's Mark Griswold, holy shit. For $15. No, oh, 25. That's still a good deal. That's still a good deal. Absolutely. Okay, I'm getting moving. It's 25, 35. Okay, so this little flip-flop resale place in the middle of nowhere turned out to be really good. I got three pans. One was an, an unmarked bread pan for $10. The other one was a Griswold bread pan that was marked for $25. Those go for $60 all over the place. And then another one was that uh, WK pan that I offered $34, and she was willing to give it to me for it. So it's another nice number eight. Oh, that's cute. Little teeny tiny eight dollars for that little cast iron. Guess they're all little toys. So I'm back to the place where I found a couple of really good deals last time. Put my head over there, and there was a corn pan. For six ninety five, dollars it's a BSR, so I want to get at least one of these so I have a sample of them so I can make an infographic, right? But what's really interesting is that I found this skillet. Now, I've already picked two skillets that were cracked, so I just don't have much faith in my ability anymore. But I, I looked this one over really carefully. Here's what's cool about this. $14.95, right? Number eight. It's a Martin stove and range. This might actually make up for my my uh, cracked one, although this one could be cracked too, and I just Alright, so here's my pickup so far. Um this is just a real cheap uh, BSR cornbread pan. I want to use it to do graphics of the different types of cornbread pans. This was what I think is a good pickup. Uh, $15 and it's a Martin Stove and Range. You can see the hamburger logo on it. And I looked it over really close to see there wasn't any cracks. I can't spot any. So at least if there is a crack it got past me and I looked for it unlike the other two where I didn't. And then over here this was a place out in the country that I don't often pick. And I had them for $18, this whole thing. <clears throat> this, I believe this lid, I can probably sell just to cover the price. This is a BSR one quart stew pan lid, I believe. And then there's this interesting number three with a low heat ring for $10. I'm very curious what this is. It almost reminds me of a favorite. And then this is a single notch lodge that's really, really roached. But for $7, it's worth taking a chance on. So we'll see what comes of it. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and enjoying uh, the video series and supporting me thus far by subscribing and clicking like and all of that. And if you want to catch me on TikTok, sometimes I have previews of what I'm working on that I haven't published lately. That's at TikTok slash at Wisdom Studio. And if you're on Facebook, look up the group Vintage Cast Iron Hunting, Restoration, Identification, and Sales. And until next time.